Oop, did it not transition? Yes, it did. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I probably should show the fans back on. Music back on. Alright, Jay's back. <laughs> Alright, we're back, ready, we're gonna go. Okay. Uh, quickly. My game capture did immediately break. Because I used the, the game capture to uh, capture Minecraft last time. But because I'm using Optifine this time, uh, it didn't capture it automatically, so I had to use Window Capture instead, which is really goddamn rude. I wish it wouldn't do that. So yeah, it's Minecraft time. Um, so <laughs> I need to clean this up, one second. While we wait for people to pop back in if they decide to, I'm gonna just real quick do some cleaning. Because uh, yesterday I was figuring out um, since Amplified is kind of a weird uh, game mode to, to work around, uh, I was wondering if I should, you know, change game mode at some point. But, oh, 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 uh, uh, change, uh, not game mode, change like world gen at some point. Uh, and I was looking into the other various world gens that they have, but most of them kind of suck. So if this world ends up ending at any point, it's going to be because I'm switching to basic. To just like normal, standard, classic Minecraft. The destroyer of worlds, yes. I, I build worlds and I destroy them. Okay, so I did do a little a bit of stuff offline. So for one, uh, I've got a texture pack on. It's called uh, Better Vanilla Building. Uh, the main reason I picked it is because it still looks a lot like vanilla, but it has a couple of nice variances with stuff. Mostly with like flowers, which I don't really have a lot of at the moment for some reason. So I don't know where all the flowers went, but they have like different versions and they alternate with Optifine. So they look pretty nice. Uh, there's a lot of villages. I also built a little farm. I basically pillaged a bunch of shit from the little farm over there and just built a farm hovering out over the cliff. And then I made a really shitty water tower I used to go down into the cave, to the canyon below, into, you know, the general area. There's a lot of sheep down there as well. And now I can actually, I, I stole a bed from over there too, which was neat. Uh, and then I also did a bit of terraforming. So I built this out a little bit. Uh, I might need to actually fix this curve. I need to fix the um, path block stuff as well. That's different. But I fixed this and I made a big like sort of path bit that comes all the way down here. It's a bit more natural. It took a lot of dirt. Um, I didn't get very far with the terraforming because it is kind of tedious shit. Um, and I couldn't keep finding enough dirt. I tried to do a little bit here but this is a very awkwardly placed building. It's it's very very annoying to 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 mess around with. So there's that. Oh, you can see like this is like one of the variants that like the grass texture has a little little flowies on it. And like that rose over there has like three heads on it. That's cute. See? Variants. I think they might even be rotated. It rules. It's very simple subtle stuff, but I like it. And so yeah. I did get started on terraforming this bit over here to try and make this path up more natural, but I didn't have enough dirt. But it is at least functional, because I was trying to figure out how the best way to to mess with this bit would be. And I think the main bit that I have to do is actually just bring this whole bit way down and just like dig it out rather than build it up. So that'll be fun if I, if I end up getting up to that. I just dig up a path up there. Or down, whichever works. Down probably works better because it'll involve less placing of blocks. If I decide I don't like it. Because if I dig too, too shallow up, then I have to place them all back. And that'll be really annoying. And it means I get a lot of dirt. Many, many dirt. Many, many dirt. I figure it basically starts like here anyway. Because this is where the current path is, and basically just bring it back down, I guess, is the kind of the vibe of that. God, regular dirt looks disgusting. 
Um, it probably does need to be more specifically like coming this way. Just kind of get in there. The wall kind of sucks, but we can't do a whole lot about the wall. Well, we can. We could dig it out, but I don't really want to. Because that would then bother me immensely for various reasons. Uh, da -da -da. Go like that, and then like... We come here to watch very tedious terraforming. I wish I was in creative. Because I actually really like terraforming, but it is very slow stuff in uh, basic. And I wasn't going to make an iron shovel. I'm not like a masochist or something. Like, I'm not going to do like diamond hose or anything. That's, that's, you know, no, we don't do that around here. Oh, but I do have a second shovel. Because, I mean, like, wood is renewable, cobble is renewable, technically. It's fine. <laughs> iron is not renewable, therefore we do not use iron for anything except what is absolutely necessary. Like, yeah, it's functionally infinite, but, like, mm, No. <laughs> but no, actually. Uh, oop. Hey. Alright, so kind of a bit of cobble there, too. So that's neat. Oop. Oh. Gonna sort of go in there. Oop, we're near the edge. Spookums. Spookums McGee. We go in there. And so it comes up there, mostly. I don't know if it'll actually- it won't help much, but it will help a little bit with the, the slope of the path. This is the very boring stuff. <laughs> Maybe this should not be the stream material. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, hold on. Because then, well, it still needs to come around, I think, because it's- Meh. Or I can start further back, I guess. I don't know. It is slightly better now, just as that. I think that's already slightly better, because it's a nice, smooth path down to about here, and then it becomes a whole uh, 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 bit. But, that is very boring, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> for the minute. Even though I like to do that kind of stuff, it is kind of boring. So, instead, what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly check my farm for foods. For food stuff, because all I all I planted on this farm was just um, carrots and wheat, because that's kind of really the staples. Uh, that's the staple of my food group. Uh, is that not fully grown? Oops. Uh, I don't know what to Six, six is fully grown, isn't it, or is it seven? Those look identical. That six and that four look identical. Like, there is no difference between those. They're not grown, are they? I can't- I literally cannot tell. I just, I thought six was grow, but I guess not. Because, I, well, I guess seven is. Alright. Oh, there- oh, that's it. Okay, there we go. So it needs to be a very light orange. This is why we don't use texture pack to get very, very confused. Okay, so I've got a little bit of stuff. Which means I can... Come on! Oop. No, I'm gonna go down here, actually. Because then I want to make some bread. Boom. Got some bread. And we're gonna use this to... Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, no. We're gonna use this to go exploring. Use this to go caving. Cause I did do it. I think I did a teensy bit of caving off off stream, but I don't remember. But no, yeah, I definitely did, and I got a bit of iron. But that's basically all I did, and that's why it got busted. I skipped a step. Huh. That's a shame. Donk 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 donk. 
Rawr! Rawr! Welcome back, Laura. I'm now just dunking my head down into my caverns so that I can go uh, find some iron. It's a, it's pretty deep because what we are now at 36. It's about 20 at least, right? That's at least 20 blocks of staircase. It would feel less bad if the ceiling was higher, but that's effort. Uh, so this is the the shield wall that I built last stream. I did eventually come over it. Uh, I think the reason I didn't collect this iron is because I was spooked out of my mind. Because I believe there was a skeleton around the corner. Or a creeper, I do not recall. But I have my shield. I have my torches. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so I, fi I finished up there. I found a branch that goes up and it had monsters in it. When I was here last. But it does not appear to have monsters anymore. So that's good. So we've actually exhausted this cavern now. Which kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping this would be a uh, more in-depth place to explore, but apparently not. Yeah, because I was mining like this block and then I realized there were monsters coming and I was like, oh no. <laughs> Big spookums. Why didn't I make an iron pick? Why didn't I make an iron pick? What am I doing? Uh, I mean, I, uh, I didn't even bring my spare crafting... Okay, hold on. <laughs> we're gonna go back up and I'm gonna grab my spare crafting table and I'm gonna make an iron pick. And then we're gonna go down there and we're gonna continue the, the hole. Possibly, or we'll just continue it where we are. I don't know. I don't know which one's better. Like to have a, con a continuous staircase or to do as little mining as possible. I'm, I'm torn on that issue. So, I mean, if anyone has any feedback or like input as to whether it's better to have a, a single staircase or... I guess single staircase is probably better in the long term. Eh, fuck it. <laughs> I'll just continue the staircase. And maybe at some point I'll make it properly sized. Is there skipping? There's a gap there. Come on. Bloody past blocks. Okay. Boom. There are almost certainly a shit ton of mobs up in up in the cliffs and I'm spooked by Oop, there's one. I see him. I see a skeleton on the cliff. There are monsters on that cliff too at some point, and that was very, very annoying. I didn't get exploded or anything, but I was unnerved. And then he's up there because he climbed my bloody ladder. Why would you do that, dude? That ladder is not meant to be for climbing. Where's my spare uh do dead? Huh. I appear to have misplaced my uh, spare crafting bench. That's weird. And we'll take a couple of oak logs for the road then. And we'll take those. And we'll just quickly make some sticks. And we'll make an iron pick. Don't need an iron sword as yet because I can always run. And then I'll Oh, coal. Give me some coal. Make a bit of coal. And I'll make a couple of torches. There will be more, but I'll just make a couple for the minute and make a spare crafting table. I was positive I had a crafting table. Maybe I dropped it when I broke my chests to do some reorganizing. That kind of sucks. Oh well. Then while we're here... Real quick. Collect some carrots. Carrot and air. Do a little bit of farming. Oop, come on. Damn it. Where did that one? Bang. It's almost fully planted. If I broke more grass, it would be, but that's, you know. It do be how it be. Ooh. And so now we return to the caves, fully stocked and ready to go. And we can, uh, 
continue digging and hope to that we find a second cavern that has like redstone and um, well more iron at least, and then maybe some diamonds would be nice. Because we're only at like 36 down in the cave at the minute, and so there's still plenty of space there for uh, shenanigans. There's space down below to find the goods. Oop, that's awkward. <sighs> okay. And the issue is that I'm gonna end up digging most of those decks out anyway later. Because they're in the way. That's okay. It's okay. Diggy 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 dark block in this texture pack. In general it looks alright. Like, you know, nothing wrong with andesite. And even with like, uh, what's the brown one? Like granite? Granite's pretty good. Darite does look like bird poop and I believe it is improved significantly in this texture pack by just not looking like that. Like it just looks like just a nicer white. More like a, um, like a marble than a uh, than bird poop, which you know wasn't that hard to do. I'm gonna check out the shit now, just for mob reasons. More iron. Woo. Oh, I'd like to find a cavern, though. I'd like to find some diamonds. That would be nice. A couple of diamonds. A diamond, please. Eh, there we go. But you know, I'm, not, I'm never gonna knock a lot of iron. This will be very useful for replacing my pick later and possibly making a sword. I'll I will probably need a sword at some point. Especially once creepers start appearing. I don't I don't fucks with creepers. Where possible. Oop, there's some granite. Do 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 And how far are we? We're at six. You're joking, right? God damn it. How do I keep doing that? We're at six? Shit, we are at six. Fuck. Okay. Well. Beans, huh? Beans. Well, okay. Um. Okay. Well, god damn it. Stop hitting F2. <laughs> Time to start branch mining, I guess. Off we go. Oop, and there's some iron. Iron. That's it, though. God damn it. I didn't really want to have to branch mine if I didn't have to, but, eh. Okay. Sure. If you gotta, you gotta. Level 12, sacred stick. Oh, okay. I thought it was level like 5. I don't actually remember. I, it's been a while. Let's be clear. I haven't been in on the meta in a while. So we'll start at level at level 12 then. So lava can spawn at any level, as we see. Hey! Okay, level 12 is lucky. Never mind. We're good. Oop, there's a lot of it. 
Okay, level 12 is a good level. Yep, you've returned! Welcome back, Bob. We found some redstone. I have no use for this shiny material, but I appreciate it nonetheless. It will be a fine addition to my collection. Because my brain does not do the redstone good, unfortunately. Arguably it should, but unfortunately, alas, alack. Brain no do redstone good. At some point I learned what a T flip flop was and I was like, yep, that's about as far as it's gonna get, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sure I'll find an excuse to learn redstone. I'll, I'll figure something out. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, doors are a, doors are a kind of nightmare. But only if you want really complicated doors, which is why you just don't do those. Like, I don't need a piston door. And that said, oop, hey, um, piston doors, you stick to two by two. Two by two makes easy doors. Uh, three by three is a nightmare, and anything bigger than three is kind of, holy shit, you know? Like, it doesn't really go good when you do bigger than three. We found some obsidian, which is nice. Which, I mean, goes hand in hand with lava. It do kind of be like that. But, you know, we can... There's something in that. So... I guess next step is probably to actually just build some paths and bridges over here. Piston doors are very cool, though, yeah. They are... Awesome stuff. And the best part is, people have just ex made tutorials about them already. I can just watch those and figure it out. I don't actually have to learn redstone, all I have to do is just watch them. You always make your own redstone, like you do like the whole bucket method? Where you just literally like, position the obsidian, the the, the, lit, le, the, the lava in the, the frame and then you pour the water on it. Cause like I've done that, it sucks. <laughs> but it, it is, it is technically easier, you're right. The only issue is that it does require a multitude of buckets. Which, I'm nothing wrong with buckets. I have, I can make many buckets, I just don't know if I want to. Hello. Oh, there's a ravine, I think. And also a lot of lava. Mmm. No bueno. No merci. Do not, do not appreciate that as an element of the environment at the moment. I'm gonna just pop that down. Cause then it'll go, oh no, but it won't go down. Yeah, figured, okay. I'm gonna pop you there then. Yeah. Three is fine if you have a good source of lava, but it is a matter of if you want your portal to be in a, ooh, mine shaft, mine shaft, mine shaft. Um, if you want your portal to be in a really like accessible location, relative to your house, lava usually is not near that. So it becomes a matter of you have to kind of climb up that. You have to keep doing the stairs. I hate doing the stairs. I don't need that much cardio. Also, since when was iron in in the thing? Is this- ah, fuck! Hi! Fuck! Jesus! Hi! 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 Iron is fairly cheap, you're right. And it probably would be significantly easier than having to go for diamond. That said, the the vibe is that I that having diamond is good for the nether anyway. So I might want to have diamond regardless. Ooh, I need to actually hold on. I need to make a a note of where my base is. Sorry, one second. Cause that's the way to hump. I have made a mark of fuck shit. Jesus, oh fuck. Get back here. Be gone, foul fiend. Go for diamond. Oh, uh, what the fuck was that? Oh, that was a bat. Okay. <laughs> that was a bat. Ugh. None of, none of ravines, ravines are bad. Like, I like ravines, but also, fucking hi. The fuck did you go? Oh, cause it's fucking fucking mine shafts. <sighs> okay, hold on. Yeah, it does take way the fuck too long. You're right. You're completely correct on that front. 
And I mean, let, let's be perfectly honest with ourselves. I haven't had to actually mine obsidian in years because usually I don't play Minecraft up to that point. Usually I'm playing a like um, Skyblock. Skyblock does not have this problem. Because in Skyblock you, well, in the Skyblock that I play, there's a different method of making obsidian. It's like, it's a funky bucket method, but it is fundamentally the bucket method. So there is that. That's fun. That's neat. That's... Yeah, alright. <sighs> I wish they didn't do that. I wish it wasn't multi-layered. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. It does get me up to that layer though, which is really nice. So, up we go. Okay. Oop. I think I hear a skeleton, but don't worry. Oh yeah. Fucking prick. Damn it. Bastard. Evil man. Evil cursed being. Cursed by the Lord above. To bring devastation upon thee. For the sin of daring to make torches in a cave. I'll be honest. I thought pausing actually. I thought crafting paused the game. So I probably shouldn't have done that. <sighs> Fuck alright. I don't think my own pick survived, I'm pretty sure, because I did still see it floating. So that's something. And I have a spare pair of leather pants. So we have that as well. It's more about, I'd like the iron to still be alive, and I would like the, um, the redstone being still alive would be quite nice. I have to say that. Okay, when's the block? Why is this busted? God damn it, stop breaking the staircase. Okay, here we go. Alright. We begin the bash. Alright, you should... Okay, I sh Um, should I? Do, do creeper explosions not destroy all your items? I thought they used to do that. Where am I going? Oh, fuck, where's my route? Oh, this route. Go this way. Okay. Left. Up. Fuck. Okay, so, items stay, they, they have like a time limit, so if I die again, they stay up, right? Just to be, just to quickly, quickly clarify, just to make sure I understand. Because at this point, five minutes, okay, cool. Alright, one sec. I am going back, and I am grabbing... Dirt, and I'm going to make an iron pick. Because I need it. And I might take a little bit of coal for it. And I'll make just quickly, 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 because now I have the tools required to get past the lava wall that I accidentally made. Uh, here we go. Damn it. Donk, donk, donk. No. So, that lava, I'm pretty sure I made. Or it possibly might have opened up a, another lava flow. It shouldn't have, because that's not the location that my items were. That's a different spot. So, in theory, my items should still be there, but we're going to have to see. Oop, keep going. I need to fix the staircase. Yeah, I opened the lava earlier, I think. I'm pretty sure that's separate lava. I don't think that's the same location, but we will see. We will find out. We won't know until I get there. Yeah, okay. 
Because I think at one point in Minecraft, if you got Creeper exploded, all your items were gone. Um, so I wasn't, I was a bit scared there for a second. But I did see, like, the important ones. God, I panicked for a second. Okay. Yeah, I, I opened this. This is not creeper handwork. Should have made a sword while I was there. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Kids enemy should be dead. Alright, cool. Alright. I'm out of here. See you later. Later, bitches. I joke. I'm staying. I see a skeleton, though. Fucking shit and jit. Get out of here. One moment, por favor. <laughs> okay. I need a bow and a shield, you're right. You are correct, but I have a shield, so there is at least that. The only reason I died is because I was literally in a crafting menu when the creeper appeared. Um, usually I'm fine. It's just that I'm currently in a very dangerous and hostile location. Because it's very multi-level. So usually it's not that big of a deal, but... For now, at this very moment in time, it is very much a big deal. I probably shouldn't have opened that while I was still rearranging my inventory. So sword. I don't actually need these in my inventory at the moment. I need my cobble. Don't need any of my dirt. I need my bread and my carrots. That's mostly it. I didn't grab the uh, any of the mods that do like inventory management, so I have to do it all manually still. Okay. I see a creeper. Oh yeah, that's why I need a bow, it's for creepers. Ugh. Okay, safe, safe tunnel. Safe tunnel. There's some gold. There's a menagerie of monsters down below. There's also that path, which... This is going to really mess up my torch-based navigation. Because I have a system... And it's going to get really busted by this. I'm going to just block that off for a second. Like, there's a system to my madness. And it's going to get real busted by the... No, oh, fuck me. By the fact that this is a very windy, twisty area. Okay, we've secured another end. And how many, we have 38 iron, so we have a good amount of iron, so iron isn't an issue, but we know that there's a lot down here if I need it. I do really like that it spawns inside the fancies though, inside the, uh, the cobble alts. They're not cobble alts, but they're like, fancy bitches. So there's another torch over there. I think I'm safe here. I am going to block it off behind me though. I'm going to put that right there. Because that way I can mine this gold safely. And without harm. See, that is the one thing that I want more than anything in this world is just to not be exploded again. Especially now that I'm in a spot where I don't actually know where I am. So now we're in uh, spooky navigation is hard territory. And because ravines suck, uh, they won't be made a whole lot easier later. That said, I did, I did put a lot of a lot of torches around where I popped out. So 
I should be okay on the on the hull. in your heart. You sick, twisted bastard. You won't be coming from behind me. There's a lot of spider webs there. I am... I am going to wall that off. Because that is going to be a spider spawner. There is almost certainly a spider spawner in that direction. I can hear him too, the bastards. I can hear him. I can see him. That's a regular sp oh no 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 Get the fuck back out of there you bitch No damn it Die 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 Curse section don't go in there I am making this executive decision we don't go in there <sighs> fuck, alright. Um, probably a good idea to actually go back to the surface, which means I am going to have to sit here for a bit. Because I do not have the health required to do that. And I need to navigate my way back out of here. Which sucks. I like how these look real nice. These look real nice. I'm pretty sure this is texture pack related. These look real nice. Look very three dimensional. Oh, thank you for the follow back place and uh, Z Z score. My apologies, I was too busy panicking to notice. Yeah, poison spiders suck. K spiders are the worst because they're really, really jumpy and they don't they don't get knocked back far enough. And I'm just like, what do I do? I hate this. <laughs> so you know, we uh, we panic. That or we just start bringing milk. But I haven't actually seen a cow in a bit, so... I don't have a lot of milk just kind of lying around. Uh, Jesus, alright. So, the way back should be mostly secure. That said, panic is always an option. In this end, there's nothing here. That goes back to the same thing. Doesn't it? Yeah, they loop... Oh, that's separate. These are somehow separate things. 3D is hard, so... Alright. Way back is... I th yeah, this way. This way, okay. Technically, kind of, sort of, lesson. It's, it's way better to come into the mineshaft from the top. I'm coming in from the bottom, so I'm basically doing it the worst possible way one can mineshaft. Because it's like, okay, oh, that's why we didn't go down there, that's why, I remember now. Yeah, so like, I'm coming at it from a very bad angle. Because now everything can drop in from above me, as opposed to everything being below me, and so I can handle it that way. I blocked that off. So we're going back this way, and then... Where's the exit from here? Because this is where the right hand ends. <laughs> you need to get out of here. Go away. Shoo. Shoo, you bastard. Shoo. This is why I don't want to come in from above. From below. This sucks. <laughs> Maybe what I should do is if I take. Is if. Oh, okay. So if I take the the coordinates, right, what I might do is I might go back to my staircase and build a path to the ravine from higher up so that I can come into it from from uh, from from above. All right, see you, Laura. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you had a good time. Yeah, the exit is down, but the answer is where's my down? 
because the way that I have it set up, right, is that I put torches on the left. So I place them on the left so that when I turn around, they're on the right. So, where is the right? Oh, it's there, isn't it? That's it. Okay. All right. That's bad torch placement. Fixed. Okay. Is it? This is not the way out. Wait. Oop. No, I know it's below me, but where's my staircase? Did I break, break my... Th there it is. That's the exit there. But how do I get there? What was my ex... What was my... Oh, it came that way, didn't it? Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, fuck. That's it. That's why I forgot. It's because I used a fucking water stream. Like a prick. Like a bad dumbass. I used the, um, the water stream as my exit strategy. Which is annoying, so I'm gonna have to mark that with torches. Here, spiders. I'm out of here. But yeah, so it's the water stream. Issue is there's a fucking creeper in it. Which, I'm not personally a fan of that, if I have to say so myself. There's also that entire section of the, the mine. I'm gonna pop that off. Be gone, thought. Okay, so issue is there is a creeper in my water escape. And I did not bring a bucket. That said, I can technically craft a bucket. Please do not. Do not. I'm... My liver is only so potable. That's not the word I want. Um... I can only store so much water in my bladder. Diggy is staircase elsewhere. I mean... Yeah... I guess, yeah. That's kind of the only real option. Because I need to get there. Very well, let's go up here. Let's very much ravine climb this bitch. I have string. I have one string. I have, oh, I have three. Oh, sweet. You're right, you're right. What am I doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make a, make a bow. Uh, I am going to encase myself in a little hole, though. So, encased. I do not have a crossbow. I have a bow. I can make a bow. So. Uh, it's, it's a texture pack, don't worry. So it's dit, dit, dit. And I can... Pop a bitch. So I have a bow now. Which is good. That's why I was digging that string anyway, because I was like, oh, that's perfect, I need a B. Yeah, yeah, sorry. The texture pack is what the texture pack is. Um. Because I thought it was just kind of neat. I, I can always change it later, who knows. Bang, bitch. Get owned. And light up the darkness. Okay. Bum 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 uh, any of that? Hold on. Actually, I was gonna do something. So it's... I'm gonna make Marcus open. So the... It's in that direction, right? And so that is... South. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. But yeah, I have to, like, trek to get to sand. Sucks. And I'm also intensely terrified of TNT, just in general. It sounds like a bad time. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> God. 
is a good song, though. So that, that's totally, you know, valid. Ugh. Please let me out of the cave. I desire the, the sunlight, the flowers, the sheep, the weird people who I cannot communicate with. <laughs> Boom. We made it out. We still, we still yet live. And for our troubles, we have a lot of redstone dust and a decent amount of iron. So that's pretty good, actually. I think that is, that is, that is good work, I reckon. What, really? One, one of the, one of the Akadaka songs was made. Nice. I assume it wasn't Dynamite. Actually, well, hold on. I don't, I don't know the names of enough songs off the top of my head to actually know or have any idea what it would have been. But that does kind of rule. Take all those torches. Uh, we need to get a smelting. And then we'll smelt the gold as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I did kind of figure it. It, it doesn't, it, it sounds cool though, so I want it, I want it to be true. So I was willing to go along with it. I guess it's kind of like how Waltzing Matilda is basically the second national anthem and also was significantly better in every way to go to uh, Advanced Australia Fair. Even though I literally don't know the words to Waltzing Matilda, I stand by this assessment. Because, like, the, the reason that we know Waltzing Matilda has to be a better song is that it can be memed. Advanced Australia Fair cannot be memed very well, therefore it is a shit song. I'm only partially joking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Like, that song actually kind of owns. Because that's like, you know, that's something. That, that, that means something. And also, like, you know, it was basically... You couldn't go anywhere without hearing that song in like 04 and stuff. So that song is all is also way better. Cause there's like, you know it just feels like something. Still Call Australia Home evokes an emotion in me that uh Advanced Australia Fair fails to do. Like I just don't feel anything when I sing that. <laughs> there is no emotion in Advanced Australia Fair for me. Yeah. It just kind of sucks. Because they're basically just trying to rip off the English. Which is like, I don't give a shit about the English. <laughs> I don't want to rip off God Save the Queen. Why do we have to do that? We're not ripping it off. But like, we are, I think, kind of very obviously taking some inspiration from that. And that's just kind of boring. But I mean, you know, still cool to show you home. There's something. And Multi Matilda is just kind of fun. Hence... Why I'm like, yeah, it can be memed, therefore it's a better song. So cool Australia Home isn't very memeable, but it is still it's still a bop. No, it's not really a bop, it's not really that fast. It's just a good song. Even if it is mostly for advertisement purposes. It's still like, yeah, this rules. God. But no. My favorite part of the Australian National Anthem is how no one- everyone knows it's a second verse. Nobody knows it. Because it doesn't matter. Like, we literally we have an extended cut of the National Anthem and it's not any better. It's like, but why? <laughs> why do we have it? What's the point of having, like, National Anthem DLC? I used to. I used to know it. Basically just so I could say that I did. You know, it's like all beneath our radiant southern cross. Um... Uh, da 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 da. Uh, we toil... Within this commonwealth of ours, we toil with hearts and hands. Listen, it's not good. Which is part of why we don't sing it, is because I think it includes more words that are just not... People don't use words like toil. 
At least Boundless Plains are like, yeah, I know what a Boundless Plain is. I understand. Yeah, we are going to free it with golden soil and wealth soil. Something, something, something. Etc, etc. Bad song. It's not a good answer. It's not good. I don't feel anything. I feel nothing. The entire point of a national anthem is to evoke an emotion in me, like pride or like optimism or something. But nah, 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 nah. I feel nothing. <laughs> The most unique thing about the National Anthem when I was growing up was that in my primary school, about, I think in grade five, we swapped to using a version of it that had a didgeridoo, like as the backing instrumental, which kind of slapped, like it was pretty neat. But the thing is that I'm pretty sure people complained because we're pretty white. Uh, we complained that uh, there was, you know, a didgeridoo and then it didn't sound as good and I'm like okay you're sort of correct and you're sort of not you're clearly a bigot so we're having a bad time obviously I didn't think that at the time because I was like you know 10 and didn't understand anything but you know I got useless uh, that's, that's less bad marginally marginally less bad yeah, you just get I thought, yeah, you don't get wealth for toil. That's lies. Yeah. You don't really get wealthy off work. Unless you do a specific type of work which the government has deemed valuable. Rip. Rip the arts. <laughs> Oof. Rough shit. <laughs> oh, this is it right there. Neat. I went all the way to that one. Which reminds me, I did get sugarcane at some point. While I was off stream, I got sugarcane. So I have that, and I probably want to make a farm out of that. Might do that now. Uh, the only issue is that I don't remember how to do the fancy... Oh god, it keeps going. The fancy uh, farm that I know how to make. Because I know how to make a really fancy, fancy farm, but it's like... Actually, no, I do kind of know how to make it. But I don't know how the math works. So that's going to be an interesting situation. On the whole, because I do want to try and keep them all the same size. They're like tileable plots. I like to keep them a similar size. That's like so it's like eleven by eleven. <laughs> Prince Isaac's pride, sixty-six are in business. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eleven. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. All right. This should work, I think. Ow. <laughs> I said ow when I hit my goddamn mouse against the. Uh... Yep. 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 Okay. So this texture pack is. One second. Let me finish building this connection. Bank. Okay, so this connection, this this texture pack is called Better Vanilla Building. And yeah, I really like the texture block, the texture um, for the grass. The main reason I picked it is because if you're in a flower forest biome, it makes the birch trees into like peach blossoms. And that is really cool, but I'm not in a flower forest, so rip. Uh, two. Two. Wait, is it two? No, it's three. It goes every three blocks, I believe. Oh no, I don't remember. No, I don't remember it. I don't remember it. Uh, sugarcane farm. Because I know exactly what I want to make. Because I know how to make the really nice sugarcane farms. Because in on the sky block, it's like it owns. Yeah, it overlaps. Like, because I'm using, um, it might be a Optifine thing, because Optifine is responsible for a lot of the fanciness. So, like, one of the things that I can do, because I have Optifine, is the flowers have some variants. So, like, you can see, like, this is a, one of the blue flowers. And this is also the blue flower, but it's got this nice, like, multi-bunched variants. And so, because I have Optifine, it can do a lot of nice, like, overlapping stuff it's honestly really cool and i really like how it 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 like blends into blocks really nicely like the path blocks blend really nice pretty much everything has a has a blend to it 
except for like the building blocks. It's like this is cool. Anyway, I was looking up Shuriken tutorial one second. Uh, every three. Okay. Supoib. Okay, it's every three. But start like this. So every three. There's a method to the madness, I promise. Oop, I'm out of dirt. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Something up here. One, two. No, it's correct. One, and then one, two, three. Okay. And then. Wait. <sighs> Shit. Uh. Oh, because that's got space. F oh, that's every like. Oh, because it's got space for uh, torches. So it's not every three, it's every like four. Because it's got room for torches. Damn it. Ugh. I said it's probably functions. Actually, no, it doesn't because it does not function at all. Damn it. Okay, whatever. You know what? We're going to just place all the blocks and then we'll dig out the holes. For the hurricane farm. And then I'll fix the, uh, the flooding later. Because it will obviously flood down below. Because there's no, like, protective layer. But I'll fix that. I'm a skyblock expert. I'm familiar with, uh, the flood. I had more dirt, right? Surely I had more dirt. Yeah, plenty of dirt. Lots of dirt. Lots of dirt. Okay. So. Okay. So. No, we'll use torches as... Oh. I probably shouldn't be doing this in the wide open, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we'll use torches to mark it out. Where to put the water. So, if you did it like that, it'd basically be every... No. It'd be every two. Go like that. Go like that. Go like that. That, that, like that. Say what? Like that? Really? You hear about that? Two. Okay. Wait. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, so there will be one that's busted. This is the wrong plot size. I think it's meant to be even. But this is not even because it's 9x9. Nine nine. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not that bothered by it. I am bothered, but that's fine. So, oh, because, yeah, because the whole point is that it will... You're trying to do as little overlap as possible. So you go, like, in. Then you can go, like, this. That, go like that. One second. Eh. <laughs> Blech. And then you would go like that. No? Wait. Cover that, that, that. There is going to be a hole regardless, I think. Which is annoying. I guess you should do this the easy way. You just have a channel. Because <laughs> I don't have any lily pads. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no lily pads, so I can't actually do it the really fancy way anyway. So I guess we'll just dig some channels. We'll do it the old fashioned way. Which I don't think will actually fit on this, uh, dudette. Cause it's 9x9, nine nine, and these are gonna be even rows. Oh, well, actually, wait. No, they work. Okay, cool. Good. Good, good. Okay. Excellent. Alright. Alright. 
I need the water, which means I'm gonna have to go all the way to the other farm because I didn't make a, a water I probably should make a water source, but I am about to make one technically anyway, so that's fine I'm basically about to make one so I'll make one in the course of this And then I won't have to keep running to go get uh, stuff It also means they can come over here. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Out of there. Goodbye, madam. I have no need for your wares at present. Thank you very much. I appreciate the offer, but I am uninterested. Please take your potions elsewhere. I saw a spider. Ah, she's there. I don't have that many arrows, so I can't actually do a whole lot about her either. Oh, I was gonna bust my torches. Well, no, it's not, because I'm going to fix the thing. Oh, I didn't have to come down. I could have just done this. Damn it. Okay. I forgot I had an entire cliff face that I could access that from. Oop. Hey. Okay, we're good, because now we're going to be able to have a shirt game farm. And that's neat. I'm going to start growing all the things, and then eventually I'll bring the beetroot and the potatoes over, and I'll make farms for them as well. I think maybe it'll go that way, or maybe it'll come out instead. And then we'll have potatoes as well, and that'll be real neat. Let me just put that somewhere. Yeah. I don't have that many arrows. I definitely don't have enough to kill a witch. Which is deeply, deeply frustrating. I will need to acquire more arrows. That requires me to go uh, become a monster slayer and I have little interest. I kill monsters as a means to an end. I don't kill them for the sake of... Typically. Typically. There are always exceptions. I do clearly need to uh, protect the farm up top a little bit more. I think the witch is gone. Because I don't see... I think I despawned her. That's good. That's very, very good. Okay, we're gonna get... We're number two, and then we're gonna go farm all these. So now I have a bunch of wheat, and I, th I think there are beetroots here? There are not. Okay, but we do have potatoes. I could have sworn I encountered beetroot at some point. Hello. So I'm a bit confused on that, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm sure I'll find a beetroot eventually. Oop, I'm out of food. Beep, 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 there we go. Excellent. Da -da -da. And so now I'll be able to make it a fully functional sugarcane farm. It's obviously not automated. I know I have redstone now, but that's... Listen. <laughs> I'm basic. I like doing it the old-fashioned way. There's nothing wrong with good hard work. And if the Australian anthem taught me anything... Wealth for toil, huh? This is this is toil. <laughs> God, that's a shit joke too. Ah well. Okay. Put that in there, put that in there, and then oop. That. Crap. Crap. Okay. Nice. Okay. We have a, we have a set of farms, so we have a, and I'm, once I have enough seeds, which I might actually be close to having enough seeds, I'll probably make separate farms for wheat and carrots, 
but for the minute, because I didn't have a lot of either, I decided to just, uh, keep them together in a very annoying quadrant pattern. But I might uh, mix it up a little bit once I have many, many seeds. I can make separate farms and then I'll have many, many, many a week. Oof. Oh, my back. Hey, 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 hello, hello, sir, sir, hi, I've literally never encountered, oh, okay, I lied, I have encountered traveling motion before, hello, I can't buy any of your wares, sir, but god, would I, I would love to buy a red sand, but I lack, You like carrots? You don't like carrots? You'll suck. Give me carrots. Damn it. I really wish I had emeralds. I should have them, but I lack them because this isn't extreme hills. It's just a plains biome, but big. Deeply, deeply disappointing. They make cute noises, though. And then he'll disappear in like an hour. So... That was neat. I wouldn't have noticed him otherwise. So that's, you know, that's something. Something new. Something new to experience, new to see. So much to do, so much to see. I don't know the rest of the lyrics to that song. Uh. No, I do. I lie. I tell a lie. I do absolutely know all the words of that song. I just couldn't keep it in the, uh, the tone. Ah, dang. Alright. Hmm. It was my iron dunk, I think. Should be done. <laughs> Surely. Yeah. So I got many, many iron out of that exchange. Out of all of that previous hard work and dedication. But I'll need to build a new house at some point, because this is not going to be big enough. I will need many a chest. I will need to kick the guy out of his own house. But I'll probably make a bunch of beds, because I do have a second bed in here too. So I'll just put a bunch of beds in it so I can... uh not totally dehome the man. I think there's already a bunch of people in this in the town who don't have enough like beds at all. So we might have to just go on a bit of a spree of uh, adding beds to the locale, to the local area, because it's disappointing. You'd think they would spawn with enough beds, but one of their houses was in a ditch, so you know, it doesn't really bode well for their ability to you know, look after each other and make sure the houses don't fall in a ditch. Eh. And then this wasn't finished because I didn't have... Well, I had wood. I didn't have enough ladders at the time, though. I do love the little flower bed up here, though. This honestly kind of rules. Like, this is the kind of area that I would probably turn into a little, like, secret retreat for me, personally. And like keep it nice and lush and forested and have a cute little bench to sit on. Because this kind of owns super hard <laughs> that it looks like this at all. Because of how the uh, world gen worked out. Don't fall off the mountain, please. Please don't fall off the mountain. Now is a little time to fall off the mountain. I see pigs. Hello, piggy. That's down like, I think that was where I got the sugarcane earlier was down there I think I don't remember <laughs> and there's the the tall house up there there's some birch that'll be nice yep hi I thought it was Laura oh yeah because Laura did start didn't she because she starts at one for gaming Sundays wait it's Saturday shit <laughs> find it up collected flowers make it pretty yeah exactly this is exactly it I would make this a very lush uh, area because this, that's kind of the vibe. It's like a secret little garden. It's very, very cute. And so I'd want to nurture that that environment. I wish I wasn't surrounded by so many savannas. I wonder what's on the other side of the mountain, though. So I probably should actually get around to finishing this ladder. And maybe that'll be where we maybe call it. Just so I don't ruin my voice. Because <laughs> I have figured out that at least part of the reason my voice hurts after talking is because I keep dropping my register a little bit. 
and vocal fry sucks. <laughs> or just in general. So I'm like, eh, effort. Then again, hydration helps. <laughs> Continuing to actually drink water is very helpful. And I have been drinking water, it's fine. Okay, I see a bunch of sticks. Will do. Bang. Alright. We got torches. We got. No, don't do it. <laughs> Not again. Ah. Alright. Yeah, people started streaming earlier. Many people be streaming, it's a, it's a weekend, it'd be like that. It is nice to have a lot of options. It just means that I can't watch most of them because they stream on my time slot. So I'm like, eh, shit. Ooh. Okay, so we have... Alright. So we're up top now. Oop, shit, let me in. Urge push button. <laughs> so you push... The... <laughs> well, guess what? I'll reward your urge. I needed water anyway. Okay, so... Hmm. There's a plains biome down there. No, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. You're right. What a fool I am. What a fool I am. Yes, I can. I'm an individual. <laughs> so there's a plains biome down there, which is something. I think it's a plains biome. There's a sheep. I see sheep. So that should be... And there's a... Ooh. There's lava down there. Let me get closer. I went up my render distance, but that's kind of where the frame rate starts to have second opinions. And I'm not a fan of that, personally. I don't like to be judged by my hardware. It's kind of rude. Um, this is a very, very interesting parkour situation we're doing here. I, you can see my, my bridge that I made uh, to get to the desert earlier. So there's this lava down there. There's a bunch of interesting, like, savannah that way. It is mostly just standard stuff, I think. Because there's a lot of desert and there's a lot of savannah. And that's kind of boring. So I feel like the plain is probably where I want to go next. Did I just see a chicken fall off the thing? I think I just saw a chicken fall off the thing. <laughs> oh no. Yes, yeah, so I feel like next step, next destination, plains biome. The only matter is how to get there in a way that's like convenient in any way whatsoever. Because it's not really. Oh hey, that's neat. There's a lot of funk. I could just go through the valley now that I said that. I can just go through the valley. There is, there is something there. I'm, I'm not slacking. This was scheduled. <laughs> This was scheduled fun time. Where's my ladder? Oh, fuck. Where's the ladder? Wait. Oh, this is just from the, up the thing. Oh, okay, neat. So I can just climb up from the side if I want to as well to get up to the top. Like, I know they can flap. I know, I'm not worried for the chicken. I was just briefly concerned that that was indeed what I had seen. And indeed, I had seen a chicken fall. I'm, at least I'm pretty sure. So that's, you know, it was something. I wasn't prepared. Oh, I get the dynamic lighting. It's so cool. Okay. Back down we come, and hopefully there's a bed available. Give me your egg. There's a bed available. Sweet. Yes. <laughs> it's just screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. Died. Swam in lava. At least one of those was deliberate. Um. Okay. So. What can be done to get to the plane is basically just to go around. I can just go around it. Well, hold on. I think I can. I think I can go around around the mountains and just sort of like you know fuck around find out um because there is like a gorge down here 
that I've already made some access into because I lit up this the dark spooky place and there's a chicken there as well there are chickens literally everywhere don't worry about it I went that way before but I want to go this way this time because this will lead to a plains biome now this is a possibly one of the spookier lava of mountains I've ever seen before we just go around that please let me around it Yep, so there's a- Oh, there's more sugar cane. I see more sugar cane. That's good. That's a good sign. Ow. And these reeds, which I keep thinking I can harvest, but I cannot. They just look really nice. Um, so the sugar cane that way. I'm gonna go visit there. It's a lot of lava. I think because of how the world gen is kind of messy. Which Day knows is a discussion that we had yesterday, is that like... World Gen is just kind of messy if it's not the standard. Standard World Gen's alright, you know? It is it is what it is, it's classic. But, you know, the other ones tend to get a little bit funky sometimes. And like, it's not that necessarily a bad thing, it's just kind of weird. There are many a squid. We didn't really want to come to the desert, but we can collect some cactus while we're here. And I might grab a bit of sand for the go. So that I can do some um, cactus farming if I have to. I say have to. Bunny! Hi, Bunny! Hi, Bunny! See ya, Bunny! Very cute. Let me collect some cactus. Cactus is not super useful, but it is nice to have. You know, if I'm gonna come to the desert, I might as well grab the goods. You know, this is kind of like the whole thing. I'm gonna use my shovel to get a bit of sand. Okay, not a whole lot of sand, but that's fine. I'll get a bit of sand. So I can do some... something. I'll have to come get more sand, but again, I'm literally surrounded by deserts. It's fine. I'll manage. I will... I will... I will survive. Um, then we're doing a nice plains biome, I believe. Yeah, it's just a plains biome to me. Plains is a nice forest over there, and it's fairly, it's not as steep and mountainous. That's my mountain over there. So that is north. So let's go south. Let's make it stick south so I can get back sometime. I should have brought the spare bed. I did not bring the spare bed. But it's fine, I brought torches, it's okay. Yeah, the plains is actually quite nice. I was worried that it would be like entirely just very steep craggies, but this is actually quite nice with this little valley here. It's a nice bit of variety, I think, because I was worried it would kind of be very samey. With the, the peaks and stuff. But I think this is quite nice. It is on the other side of my mountain. So there is that element. But it is horses. There's horses and cows. Hello. Yes. This is actually quite nice. With that. With that sort of variety. So if I can take control of that entire interesting looking mountain. I can like get 360 view. And I'll be able to see this nice plane. And that'll make it feel way better. I think. To have that variety. The brown pig. Ooh. That's spooky. It wants something. I don't want to know what it wants. A uh, big tree. There is an ocean. There's the ocean. Never mind. It's the same ocean. <laughs> I was going to say, I saw an ocean at some point. When I was doing a bit of exploring off stream a couple days ago. And I was like, oh, that's near like the desert. That's where like the... um. The really shitty cobble bridge was that was leading towards the ocean. Uh, I didn't go there for the ocean, but I did. Hello? There's a fucking skeleton here. Yeah, I could come in the valley. I do like the idea of being on the mountain, and I do really like the layout of the village, mostly. Some of it's a bit funky, and I can fix that if I want to. I do. If I could find a village in in this area, that would be way better. You're right. It would be significantly better if I could do that. 
or like on the coast because this is a very nice area out here on the coast or I could yeah have multiple homes yeah I'm rich I can have like seven homes if I want because this is a big big ocean and this is plenty of like there's a lot happening here and this particular area is very nice, so I might actually mark that out with some, like... Let me... With some, uh... Something, you know? Keep track of it with a bunch of torches and be like, that's a nice spot if I want to actually build a... A house out in the, the valley. I'll mark a good spot for it. You can plant kelp, right? Fucking yeah! Excellent. I knew I was doing good stuff. So I'll I'll be able to plant some uh, kelp back in in the village if we want. This is a very nice area though. This is more like classic. This is more classic world building or world of Minecraft rather. It it is interesting that they do make them so huge though. Eh. Okay. Let's get up here, and we'll mark this area around this big tree. And this will be for if I decide there is a hole under it. But like this area around here is very, very nice. And I've marked it. I've made my claim. <sighs> y'all don't eat apple. You y'all y'all eat y'all eat apples, don't you? Another one I want anyway. You're cute. Come on. Nobody. Come on. I don't know how I'm gonna get you back up to my house, but I would like to be able to have the opportunity to do so. That or I'll just build my second house out here and you can live here. With all your buds. With all the bros. Do I need to feed them to tame them? Damn it. Please. Be my friend. Yay! But I can't ride him because I don't have a saddle. Damn it. Ugh. Well, it's okay. You're my friend. You'll despawn once I leave the area. But, you know, you were my friend for a brief, beautiful moment. You wouldn't eat my, my carrots. But you were my friend. Okay, we want to go this way. Okay, claim that. Claim that good. Because it will become nighttime if I continue dialing. Oh, it made the uh, an artifact makes the uh, sun a, a circle. That's actually quite nice. Nice, nice, nice. This way, that way, for my village, for my home in the mountains, is in this direction. It is quite far away, relative to this lovely plane, but it is a very nice plane. I'm pretty sure that's my mountain. Uh oh. <laughs> nope, there it is. Okay, the rest of it spawned in. Was worried for a second, it looked too skinny, but that is indeed my mountain. So we're good? We're good. We're making it home. But now we have the, the, the I guess, sit rep. We understand. We understand that we have a lovely, lovely area up around in the area, just on the other side of the mountain. Because on the left side, or like on like the north end, I guess, uh, west side, it is entirely just, you know, ravines and shit. And it's kind of boring. But, you know, now that I know there's a, a cool plane, I'm like, okay, there is some variety here. That's good. Is that not my mountain? Ah, shit. Mm, oh, there it is. There it is. We got it. We got it. We got it. Go, 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 Jesus, all right. Need to go. Need to go. Let's have great haste. I'm just falling, and I don't want to have to dig a hole. Right, we're almost home. We're almost there. 
because this is the big, 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 oh shit. I do need to light up more of that area or just build a good path. I just build a hole in the wall, you know? Like, I've got the technology. I have a pick. I can just big a, dig a hole in my wall. It's not like there's anything there. It's just a wall. So I can, I can dig a hole in the mountain to get to the plains if I want. Okay, let's plant some sugar cane. I like that the, the dirt texture is slightly rotated in this texture pack as well. It's very nice. Just a little something something. Okay. And then let's go get some of you. There isn't that much of you, but it is still you. Despite everything, it is still you. Ba -do, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, that was a productive little journey, I think, because now I have a bunch of cool shit. And I can make a couple of cactus farms if I gotta. On the is the uh, one issue with cactus farms, I'm pretty sure I'll accidentally kill a bunch of my villagers if I build one of those. So that's gonna be a, uh... I have to build a bunch of fences or something, like build like a, like a, like a, like a farming cage in order to protect my own neighbors from the ravages of a spiky boy. Which is annoying, but it do, do just kind of be like that sometimes. They're villagers, you know? Ah, shit, hello. Huh? The trade sucks. Why do I live with someone whose trade sucks, huh? <sighs> Alright. Hmm. Yep, there's, a, there's a scaly over there. There's a dude in a wall. He's been in there for a while, I think. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think what I might do... What I might just do... Is I might... Build that... That hole in the mountain to get to the other side of it. And I'll put it... I guess just kind of right here, really. Um, I'll build that hole in the mountain and then I might call it for the night. Because it is now 1.30 in the morning. And I probably should stay up until like 3am two days in a row. <laughs> That's what we call the oop. I'll obviously make this nice and big. So I might like during the week, you know, you know, fiddle around, make the hole nice and uh, a bit fancier, like an actual like carved hole in the uh, the rock, because that'll just look way nicer to me. And then uh, I'll have that, and I might I don't know I'll figure something out. I still don't know what I want to do for the portal because I don't know where I want to put it. Like I don't know if it should be basically like in my house or not. It probably shouldn't be in my house, but like you know. How close, sh where in the village should it be? Should it still be underground? Probably. I'm not sure, I'll, I'll have to, oop. Okay, so you've reached the other side. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Let there be light. We're longer than I thought we were. This isn't really the best angle to view the outside. 
If I had to say we were viewing it from anywhere, here is not the place. But that is okay. We can work with what we have, I think. We can always, like, platform around the top. Because the platform around the top is going to be really neat. When I build, like, the, the rooftop garden up, basically, and make it really neat. And then I'll have that. So that'll be fun. At least I think it will. <laughs> I'll have fun doing it, I think. <laughs> and that's what's important, is that I get a nice time to just chill out. That's the very good thing about streams, is it forces me to take some time to just chill the hell out. I'm panicking for different reasons. <laughs> Instead of uni for once, it's like, you know, just the pressure to perform. It's fine. That's normal. It do just kind of be like that sometimes. So, eh, you know, whatever. Okay, boom. Alright. If I keep doing little busy work things, I'm gonna be here until for ages, and I really shouldn't be. So I think I'm gonna just store myself away, and that'll be it. So, store your shit, store your shit. Well, keep, keep your shit, but store most of your shit. I need more chests. But not now. Now is not the time. Ooh. Okay. So, I think I will call it there for tonight, because it is now nearly 1.40, and that means I've been streaming for nearly four hours, or like, you know, close to, I guess, three and a half, with the gap taken into account. So, you know, oh, I'm not in the cool, not in the cool, cool area. I didn't leave fourth the thing. One second. Let me get up to the nice cool park and then I'll call it there. Because, you know, I like to chat, obviously. I wouldn't be a streamer if I didn't like the sound of my own voice at least a little bit. But also, sleep is good. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, people, people be around. But yeah, so thank you all very much for, st for coming around, you know, chilling out for a bit. It's obviously a smaller stream because everyone else went off to do the world building, and honestly, fair enough, that's kind of the whole point of the, the core. This is just kind of for fun. So, oh, hydrate, hydrate to finish off. <laughs> there we go. So thank you all for very much coming. I hope you had a an alright time, and that you have... A uh, lovely day, whatever you're doing. Even it involves just, you know, going to bed. I hope your rest is restful. It lacks dreams. <laughs> it lacks nightmares, really, but rather. Hope you'll have a lovely day. Uh, thank you all very much for coming. Uh, I need to figure out... Uh, I don't have a way to stay cool looking while also doing the stream stuff. So we're going to have to figure out who to raid. So, hold on, Twitch. Who is online? Uh, well, I think what we might do is we are going to raid Laura Bones because Laura is playing, I believe, Fable, which is what she was doing last week. But I figure since we were playing games, we should raid somebody who is gamer, who is doing the gaming. So thank you all very much for coming. I hope you had a lovely time. That you have a lovely day, and uh, I'll see you all around. Bye.